So that's like an artist thinking as a designer, yeah. thinking as a race car driver, <laughs> and then with his skills, actually building it himself, right? Yeah, couldn't imagine. It's so cool. Yeah. <laughs>finally here on public show day opening it's really busy opening public show day which is pretty nuts it's exciting though to see all these people around we're actually about to pull up to the rwb right now well there she is look how good she looks isn't that awesome what is that? dude it's so cool though it has like a natural vignette i don't know if that's a screen or not but like uh, it looks pretty good <laughs> i was like okay Got to take a picture of the car with an old camera. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. We were just talking and uh, we were giving some history on RWB. Everyone's reaction so far to the car is really, really positive. Everyone is really happy and thankful that it's here. Truly an honor for Nakai's work to be here. It's awesome. It's so cool. So we're here with Rex, right? Runner of Chi-Town Exotics. Tell me about like how, how did you even get to Chicago's biggest, or the nation's biggest auto show. How did that even happen? Um, so it started with um, a year ago, started conversating with the one of the big guys here, yeah. and um, they sometimes will let car clubs in. That's that's one of the things that they do for you know community aspect of everything. Yeah, yeah. It was a year out that they could do the auto show to get another club in. Wow. So I was like, you know, how can how can we get involved? I would yeah. love to love to get involved. And that's when he was like, okay, we'll we'll set this up so you can come in the following year. It's just been a really long process since then. And then, I mean, up until October maybe is when we first started talking about what we had planned. Yeah. And that was starting with, you know, okay, we, we got you a booth secured. You are going to be in the auto show. Yeah, that's like and so that crazy. was like one of the Blowing craziest, one of the craziest emails I've ever received in yeah. my life. I mean, like I'm just sure. saying, yeah, you're going to be in. Wow. We had no clue about space. We had no clue yeah. about how many cars we could have. We had no clue about where we'd be. None of that. You were just like, all right, I guess we're coming. Yep, you know? yep, I was like, I'm ready. Just tell me what we can do, That's when we're ready, and I'm here, I'm That's here. Awesome. So it's been really like two years in the making, this whole thing. Basically, yeah. Wow. yeah. This is nuts, I mean, first of all, because I think that like for us, it's like having every single car, at least for us as like real car enthusiasts, like, cause it's a manufacturer auto show, really, exactly. right? Like you have Toyota and Ford as the manufacturers here and stuff like that, but then now you have like these modified cars. It's something that's never been seen in the auto yeah. show before. I mean, maybe with certain clubs, but I mean, so far we haven't seen anything like this right. in years. And yeah. you know, you have the dealerships that bring the exotics, but sure. it's the modified exotics. It's exactly. the, the interesting the interesting stories, and that's I what I like bringing here. I like bringing not just the interesting cars, but the interesting stories that come with them. Exactly, and I think that's like all of it really, right? Is that the, it's really like about the story. So like we follow Nora everywhere. For her to be here is, blows our mind, first of all. So thank you so much for reaching out to RWB and making sure that we got in here. But even like the Liberty Walk 720, I've never even seen, I didn't even know that car existed. It's just so cool to have all these like modified cars, like you said, like the real car cars or stuff. Absolutely, and that, that car has been traveling for a while now. Really? Yes, so that, that Rohana 720S was just in California before it came here for wow. an event and they shipped it right back here to to its home. That's awesome. So it's based out of here then? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Because yes. I've never seen it. Yeah, well, it's it's new. They yeah. just got it, and they just got that kit on for SEMA, actually, is oh, where geez. they were they put it on for. We we're so excited that we were able to bring it to the Chicago Auto Show, and yeah. of course, at our own booth. Yeah, dude, that's insane. That's insane. Well, thank you so much, Rex, for all of your time, my thank friend. You. Congratulations. Yes. I'm so proud of you, man. This is so cool. This is so and cool. And the thing we didn't get to see yesterday was the Huckster, but here it is. It looks pretty pretty good right now that it's like on display all of you didn't get to push it my fingerprint is right there oh by the way did you get pictures of me pushing it oh yeah there's carbon kind of all over everywhere the inside was also just as neat 
um, and also really clean in there. I'm sure that Hoonigan has done like a build breakdown video on this car, so I'm not gonna really talk about it because I don't know enough about it. So the irony of the audio is on that side, they're talking about all the safety features of the Subaru Forester and all this stuff. They're not talking about this one. This is a GL. Not a Forester, but this has probably the best safety quality of any car. Oh, yeah. No, no. it's all carbon fiber, so no. it's really, really light. The only time it got heavy, which was weird, was, and I didn't notice until James, the engineer, explained it. When you turn, he has to turn it to a certain degree, otherwise it dead flocks. Oh, it that's why you guys harder. stopped at the corner, right? And it, and it got harder and harder to push until we got you get to it? a straight line. I know. Oh, yeah. oh, see, that's pretty though. This is a cool like display. Yeah. Subaru's got this whole forest display going on. It looks like Congo River. <laughs> oh my god. Something's happening and we've been missing the whole thing. They're unveiling the new Forester. I'm too short so you guys won't be able to see anything. Super. Sorry. Have a great day everybody. Looking at Fozzie when it was brand new. Look how sexy that is. It doesn't feel like. <laughs> it's just it feels fine. I feel like it's an L. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is, this exactly, is exactly yours. You need, like, Except yours is slammed on its nuts. Mine, yeah. <laughs> you can barely put your finger in it. Right, right, right. This, I mean, this is the rarest Subaru in the world because there's no panel rest right there. Dead, dead. Just, just go like this. Look how, look how oh wow. Look how this shit. It's all waxed up and stuff. Right, so take a look at this and take a look at Paul's, which I'm picturing right now. A little bit different, <laughs> but pretty, pretty decent. To be really a rare Forester or a rare Subaru in general, it should still say first engine. <laughs> still OEM engine. <laughs> it's just so cool to see everybody appreciating this car and so cool to see everything. Know how they are. RWBs are like made for track. Nice. So for him, when he wants to relax and just cruise, he, his preference is a convertible. Nice. That's and then awesome. he'll, he'll ride the mountains of Japan and just like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is so cool. So, what would you think if you were like to go up a curve or a. Uh, nice, like straight a speed bump? Straight it or yeah. it, right? It's got the flex and it's got this nice flex, right? It's it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so scraping is almost non-existent. Yeah. <laughs> you literally don't have space, but it's as functional as it is as it looks aesthetically. Yeah. And not have to worry about it. <laughs> so that's like an artist thinking as a designer, yeah. thinking as a race car driver, <laughs> and then with his skills, actually building it himself, right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. What's wrong with that? Paul and Juan had to dip, but now, I'm told that all of PPC is by Nora, so how are you, brother? How are you? Good man. Good you? to see you. Oh, yeah. oh, what's up? How are you? Oh, yeah. How are you? Hello, hello. I'm on. Uh, I'm actually on one twenty now because we uh, swap lens there, and he's helping me out because this is this stops down a little bit more. Everyone's saying happy birthday. It is currently almost six o'clock, and we've been filming uh, and like kind of giving the story to everybody in the show about the RWB and it's been so cool to give everyone like such history lessons and we've only been here for one day. The Liberty Walk kit, like we mentioned the other day, I don't really know too much about it, but I do know that it was built for SEMA this past year, 2023 SEMA, which is currently February right now, so it's only been built for a couple months and uh, it was shipped from California to here. This is my bread and butter. This is what I know the best because the story about Nora is, is remarkable on its own. So I'm gonna have to talk about what RWB is and the story behind it as well because a lot of people actually don't know what RWB is. And that's the coolest part was I've been explaining 
RWB and what it is. I have to remember that not a lot of people know who that is, especially being on a national stage where RWB is here for the very first time. A lot of people might not know who it is. Oh man, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. They don't know, they don't know true art right here. That's right. That's so right. the day is done. Day one of the public show, which is pretty nuts to be honest. It, we've been having some problems to be honest with you because the fence is like there's no there's no plexiglass there right and so people are being able to go into the fence and so it's been kind of a problem we've been trying to like keep people from touching the cars and sitting on the cars so we've been actually playing a lot of security on top of like education as well overall the most important thing has been the stories right the stories about rwb what it is and this right i'm gonna learn more about this liberty walk because i don't know too much about this one, how it came here, everything. So I need to learn more about it. But there are two Japanese tuners here and they're both body tuners, RWB and Liberty Walk together, right next to each other, which I think is insane. So that's pretty much it for day two or day, I don't even know what day it is now. That's all I have for now. Okay, see ya. This is really cool. It is a double wishbone suspension from Olin's, which is really nice. And most of the body, if not all of it, is carbon fiber. 37 in the world, in the world. How crazy is that, right? The opportunity to be even in this car and <laughs> it's ridiculous. I think I'll just have to crop it a little bit. Yeah. I got my dad's head in there though. Hell yeah. Thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs>